Did you know that almost every beige paint color out there has an undertone to it? So what's an undertone? An undertone is a color underneath a color. Have you ever painted your home with a beige paint color and it just felt like there was something off about it? Well, chances are the undertones of beige that you were using were clashing with the undertones of either your interior decor or fixed elements that you have in your room. I see this all the time with my clients almost every single day. So today's color review is Muslin by Benjamin Moore. I'm gonna show you the undertones of this paint color and I'm gonna show you how it reacts when it comes to lighting. Also, I'm gonna give you three valuable tips that you should know about this paint color before deciding to paint it in your home. There's no such thing as the most neutral beige paint color because it doesn't exist, and I'm gonna tell you why. Every beige paint color has its own unique set of undertones and every home has its own unique set of undertones when it comes to the interior decor and fixed elements. So anyone who claims that there's a neutral beige paint color that can work for any home doesn't understand how to build the right color palette for a home. So having said that, let's take a closer look at muslin and let's talk about the undertones. Right here's muslin. Now watch what happens when I compare it to Pell Oak by Benjamin Moore. You can immediately tell that this is a beige paint color. Now I'm gonna show you the undertones of this paint color. And for many of you, this might be hard to see because it takes years to develop this skill set to see an undertone underneath a color. So don't be frustrated with yourself, but if you can see the undertone of this paint color, it's pretty cool. So watch this. Right here is muslin. Now watch what happens when I compare it to Shaker Beige by Benjamin Moore. Notice the pink undertones in muslin. This is a beautiful beige paint color, but it does have a pink undertone to it. And that means that you need to be careful on how you pair this with both your fixed and furnished items that you may have in your home. And if you don't get this right, it can end up from being a costly mistake. And I don't want that to happen to you. Another factor to consider before painting your room Benjamin Moore muslin is lighting. I'm not just talking about natural lighting. I'm talking about artificial lighting or the reflection of other colors. Now, what do I mean by reflection of other colors? I'm talking about anything outside your window. It could be an ocean, a river, a tree, a building, to name a few. And it's the other colors that you have inside your home. You'll be surprised on how the reflection of other colors will change the way muslin will react. I see this every day. But today's focus is gonna be on how muslin will react in both the north and south facing room when it comes to natural lighting. This is what muslin looks like in a south facing room. It's got a nice medium tan to it. It's not a dark beige. Instead, it's a warm beige that can add depth to a room when paired correctly. Now I'm gonna show you what muslin will look like in a north facing room. When you have muslin in a north facing room or any room that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, or if you experience a lot of shadows in your room, then you'll notice the pink undertones. Also, the pink undertones could become more pronounced depending on how you pair muslin with both the interior decor or fixed elements that you may have in your room. As you can see, natural lighting will play an important role on how muslin will react but don't forget about artificial lighting or the reflection of other colors that you may have in your room or outside of your room. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information just like you're seeing right here in this video. I talk about anything related to color, both the interior and the exterior of your home. Next, I'm gonna give you three valuable tips that you should know. Tip number one, for those of you that have a yellow beige carpet in your home, look what happens when you compare it to muslin. The undertones will clash. The carpet will look dirty and the yellow beige in the carpet will pull out the pink undertones in muslin. Tip number two, if you're thinking about painting muslin in your kitchen, then I highly recommend that you compare it to the fixed elements that you may have, such as your countertops, backsplash, and flooring, to name a few. This is one of the main areas of the home that a lot of people make a mistake because they don't pair the undertones correctly. Tip number three, anytime I'm decorating a room that's been painted with muslin, I like to throw in certain cool undertones of colors, such as this till green fabric right here. It can be used as a throw pillow or as a window treatment to name a few. I like to add contrasts of colors. 
and it's important to throw in some cool and warm undertones because it'll make your room from average to absolutely stunning. By the way, feel free to subscribe to my exclusive design tips that I don't share anywhere else online. I show you the other side of painting. I talk about design tips and interior decor. So feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. What do you think of Muslin by Benjamin Moore? Or have you painted your home with a beige paint color and you would like to share it with all of us? I would love to hear your story in the comment section down below. I help people just like you all across North America on creating the perfect palette for their home. And if you want it done right the first time without worrying about making costly mistakes, then feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you regardless where you live in North America. So thank you for watching and feel free to share this with your friends and family. Until then, I will see you in the next video.